Hi hey everyone, welcome back to the series where we're looking at 2017. We're now on to July, well into pre-season. We're going to see some goals, we're going to see some transfers in and out of the club and then we'll move on to August. Let's crack on with it. We're going to be talking about yesterday's news on Friday where Newcastle have announced that they've entered in a team in the checker trade trophy. It's called Dolo. Just making sure he's got all his kit in the back of his air uh, and his boot there. He's with, uh, I think it looks like Paul Wilson. There's Grant Hanley rumoured to be rocking it in with his shorts. Rumoured to be on his way out of Tyneside with Florian Lejeune possibly heading in. We'll have to see how that develops, you know. And that is Emmanuel Rivier and Henri Savé. Yes, strange as they're giving Serena a good old shake of a hand there. He has signed people. Florian Lejeune has signed a five-year deal. It's over the line now. We thought it would happen, you know, above us here at St. James Park. He's got it over the line. And, you know, we've got now five centre-backs at the club. We'll probably say Grant Hanley leave, but this transfer has just gone on and on and on for, like, how long has it been going on for? You're talking probably, what, two or three weeks now? Um, we've signed Yusuf Yoni, we've signed Stefan O'Connor, and we've signed Juanito Lopez as well. So we'll Some heartbreaking news that, sadly, uh, Bradley Lowry has passed away. So our thoughts here at Newcastle Fans TV and Sky, the brand who I work for just across the road here, uh, our thoughts go out to Bradley Lowry and his family. So Vernon Nita has joined Leeds United. He's also said that Leeds are a great club, very similar to Newcastle, uh, including the fan base, fan base, massive support, very loyal, very passionate. This is what he said about his move. Well, Vernon, welcome to Leeds United. Uh, how does it feel to be a Leeds player? Oh, very good. Um, I'm happy. I'm happy to be here and uh, get ready to start and uh, keep going. Um, so Barry have announced the signing of youngster Tom Herdman, who actually had a great end of the season. We, me and Sharky were going to a lot of under 23 games towards the back end of the season, and he was running the show. Lee Clark described him as and the next Andy Carroll, so hopefully he can live on. There goes the ambulance, as per usual at St James, as it always happens. Yeah. Um, Alex Gillen needs first team football because. Tom Herdman and Alex Gillard are far too good for under-23 footballs. Now they need to go away and start building their career. So he's joined Bradford. They only just missed out on promotion at the end of last season. So hopefully he'll kick on. He's in a winning side, so he'll win a lot of games. Hopefully stays injury-free. Hello everyone. We're here at Dunstan Fair for the Pavel Cernicek Cup. We're raising money here for, uh, uh, what is it, St Oswald's Hospice. And we're going to be... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Scored very early on, uh, seemed young, turned his man and a nice slip ball into Dwight Gale who fires bottom corner. Newcastle 1 0 up within the first 3 4 minutes. Chancellor Mbemba is not a right back, really, is he? And he was at fault for their goal when Hart scored because. He's just sleeping when the ball's played through. He's in no man's lap, no man's mand in the right back position. He's not following his position because he's brought out of position and then the player runs just casually past him. They go on and score. Elliot's got no chance blasted towards him. 1-1. But you know, we're gifted a goal in the 25th minute. Um absolutely awful goalkeeping by Hamilton who plays in goal for Hart. A corner comes in from Sheldy, whips it in. There's Dwight Gale just nodded in. You know, it's pretty simple. Right. Tim Krull has not travelled with the Newcastle squad head over to the posh resort of uh, Carton House in Ireland. He's been left at home, fueling huge, huge speculation. That's going to come the next few days. Uh, Manuel Rivier has been left out the squad. This isn't this isn't a massive surprise. He's heading out the door. Newcastle want to get him off the books, and whether that means shifting him out on loan because he's only got a year's left on his contract. Get him off the wage bill. That's effectively using his Newcastle career over as well. The surprising one a little bit is Ashraf Lazar has been left back in England. Now it's going to be interesting to see what he posts on Instagram because he loves Instagram. So first of all, the big transfer story is Jacob Murphy. Uh, a bid has finally been accepted by Norwich City as reported by Lee Ryder of the Chronicle of around 12 million. I'm seeing reports of 12 and a half million. Sorry, um, is Adam Armstrong did not travel with the Newcastle squad to Ireland because he was signing 
for Bolton Wanderers on a season-long loan deal. One winger has left, and that one being Jan Gufran, who was signed for a Turkish size, who I've tried to memorise the name for, but I still haven't. But anyway, Jan Gufran has left on a free transfer. Yes. My first game was, uh, I went to watch with my brother. Dad took us to watch uh, Newcastle versus PSV um, in the UEFA Cup at the time. It was a 2-1 win. Alan Shearer, Gary Speed getting the goals, uh, along with Bear, Olivier Bernard. Um, you know, watching, watching them plays growing up, I, I enjoyed that. Newcastle's my childhood club. Growing up, only ever knowing Newcastle. And now I've got the opportunity to come and represent this beautiful club. I can't wait to get started. Um, so Darren Murphy leaves Nottingham Forest on a massive three-year deal though. That is huge. That is absolutely massive. Three-year deal to go to Nottingham Forest for, th for a guy who's just turned 34. What a, what a transfer that is for Darren Murphy. Javier Monquillo has signed for Newcastle. Uh, it's been a good three or four days since we've been waiting for the announcement for the club. He becomes Rafa Benitez's fourth signing of the summer for an undisclosed fee for the 23-year-old. Rumoured to be somewhere in between approximately around about four million on a three-year deal. I think you have to be focused. Uh, everyone knows the task in hand. Um, obviously, half of the job was done or a little bit of job was done last season in getting back into the Premier League, but by no means do we want to stand still and toy with the with the relegation or whatever. We, we, we need to kick on, we need to keep building as a club, as a team, and um, the lads obviously need to take on board and uh, the information the gaffer gives us to, to improve. And um, I think it's going to be an important part of this season that we need to realise that we haven't, we haven't done anything yet, we need to uh, continue to get better. Yeah, I was, uh, I was glad to be back on the pitch and uh... Yeah, um, hope I can uh, continue uh, playing games, and uh, that's what I said. I want to, yeah, still uh, hope I can uh, well, get my chance here and see what happens after uh, the next few games of preseason, and then. Uh, Probably I'll speak to the manager about it as well in pre-season, so um, we'll see what happens. TV saw Newcastle drew Preston earlier on today. You know, the result doesn't really matter at all about match fitness, tweaking a few things, seeing where new things that you can potentially look at. And you know Rafa's uh, lineup. Do you, can he really read much into this lineup? You know, so the we made it. We hit over 10,000 subscribers recently. Thank you so so much. We're doing Newcastle fans TV. So we're here in Whitley Bay. We're, uh, we're looking at the uh, Newcastle under 23s who are playing Whitley Bay in a quite a short arranged friendly here. Second half was poor, wasn't it? Just petered out, wasn't it? I mean, there wasn't really much quality going forward. I mean, there was a lot of uh, subs to buy made by Peter Beardsley and uh, not really much happened. I mean, it was just going on. It was a wilting away, it was a nil there, which yeah. obviously was a fan was up. Signing Atsu, set up Dwight Gale. And a minute later, Newcastle's summer signing from Norwich, Jacob Murphy scored his first goal for the club to make it 2-0. Newcastle then scored two goals in the last 15 minutes. First, Alexander Mitrovic made it 3-0. And shortly after that, Murphy scored his second goal of the game. I'm not very happy about this one. Uh, Lewis Gibson, uh, well, congratulations, Gippa. He's another one of the uh, under-23s to follow us over on Twitter. He's got himself a fantastic move to Everton. I'm not so much concerned about that. It's a great move for him, don't get me wrong. But I'm really disappointed in Newcastle. Absolutely foaming at Newcastle, how they've let a local Geordie lad again slip through their fingers so it's over the line we've got a Mikel Mourinho it's been rumoured the last 48 hours that he would sign the deal was done pretty quickly I have to say he signed on a season long loan with a permanent view there is a contractual clause written in that loan agreement if he makes a certain amount of appearances Newcastle will be obliged to sign him permanently it's quite when you play these kind of games uh, you all you want is to improve the fitness of the team you want to be sure that the, everybody uh, understand what we want to do and then we, I think we started more or less well, I would say, in terms of organisation and pressing. But then we didn't regain and we gave them the chance to play counter-attack and score. So something that we can, we can improve. At the same time, we have some good play. Uh, we were defending sometimes well and sometimes not so well. There you have it.
That was July, a lot of transfers in and out, pre-season well underway, we're going to move on to August of course, we've got Spurs coming up in August, and of course we didn't sign anybody at the end of August as well, which I was not happy about one bit. See you later.